Um, I wanted to do a quick review on um, the Affinia 3D printer. Um, I got this printer about, um, I don't know, three months ago, uh, and it is amazing. I was, I did a lot of research and I was looking at the other uh, printers like the MakerBot, um, and I, I was always trying to save up that two, three thousand dollars and I could never do it, so I got this one. I think I paid about fifteen hundred dollars for it. Um, Affinia is not sponsoring me, I'm just giving a review on the printer I bought from them. Um, it's amazing. I took it out of the box and um, it it just pl pretty much plugged it in and sold the software and it just worked. Like they said you have to calibrate it and they have like a calibration test and stuff. I never did that. I just start. I just took it out and started printing. Um, this was my first print. It actually doesn't look as good as hope. This one probably will because I got better with like the software and the resolution and stuff. Um, yeah, it's really simple. I learned how to use uh, Google SketchUp, and uh, which is free. And so now I can design these things, and it's pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, nine grams, um, or which equals out to uh, about thirty cents if you can get the filament for uh, uh, thirty dollars. Uh, thirty dollars a spool. Um, it only prints uh, five and a half inches tall, but that's all you really need because uh, if you think about the other printers that are printing, they say like huge. But they don't. You don't think about it. That uh, the cost of that material costs a lot of money. So really, I mean, I would have maybe liked to print this one a little bigger, but I'm happy with uh, the size of the print platform. Um, as you can see, if you're new to 3D printing or you don't and you have problems with warping, um, it all this all this is is I have a jar here, and it's uh, uh it's just. Uh, ABS plastic and it's from like pieces that have broken or whatever I'll just drop it in um, it's I just went to Lowe's and got straight acetone um, I tried using the nail polish acetone it sometimes works sometimes in it so just get the straight the real acetone from the hardware store um, and what it does is it turns it into glue and you just spread it on your platform and it makes the, the part stick it's so crazy because like People have, if you look, like I googled it before, you know, doing the research, trying to find these printers, and everyone was talking about warping, so just spread it on there, and the stuff won't warp. Um, trying to think of something else. Oh yeah, so I made this enclosure um, out of plexiglass. It's not, it doesn't look very nice, but it works really well for what I need it. Or, and it's the um, when this plastic is, I mean when it's printing, it uh, it it gives off fumes. I don't really want to smell it while I'm working because I work right next to the printer. So what I did was I made the plexiglass thing and then hooked up a little fan there. I just cut a tarp, glued it, um, and just shot it straight into my attic. <laughs> it doesn't look pretty, but it works really well. Um, I actually tried to do this without having this um, exhaust vent on it, but it gets too hot in there, and uh, I don't know. I it worries me to get the printer too hot. You can feel the motor heating up. You can feel the whole printer just heating up like that. The, this the way I have it right now is uh, it doesn't heat up. And I'm thinking about making a nicer one of these if uh, and then maybe turn this on or something. But we'll see about that. Um, so this little thing I'm printing off um, is a sniper rifle, and uh, from a popular game on the Xbox, um, I'm going to um, uh, send this free, the the little sniper, to um, anybody who makes a comment um, or likes and subscribes or whatever. Uh, I'll send this this one not free so give me a thumbs up uh
Thanks for watching. Uh, my website's uh, carryshop.com. I sell, uh, I don't know, electronic parts.